Everyone knew him as Uncle Salim. This is a home video recorded by the Green Lane Mosque in Birmingham. Yeah, this is Mohammed Salim, one of the regular uh, namazis at the masjid. 82-year-old Mohammed Salim was walking home from the mosque in April when he was attacked, stabbed in the back by a man who was caught moments later on CCTV. Pavlo Lapshin had only been in the country for five days, but already he was on the run. The 25-year-old Ukrainian student had just started a work placement, but he didn't just bring his software expertise to Birmingham, he also brought a burning sense of racial hatred. He didn't lie low for long. In June, he started planting bombs outside mosques. Walsall here was the first, followed by Wolverhampton. No one was hurt. The third, Tipton, was a very near miss, but only because Lapshing got his timings wrong. An hour later, when prayers were actually going to start, there would have been over a thousand people going into the mosque, walking across the car park, the very car park that that bomb was detonated across. It's strewn, uh, 60 grams worth of nails were nail strewn well over the car park and beyond over 70 metres around there. Police found this bomb-making equipment at Lapshin's home, but say there's no evidence he was part of a wider network or had contacts with British extremists. Of course, that's of little comfort to the family of Mohammed Salim. Our father was a lovely, kind man who left prayers for the last time that night of the 29th of April. He did not do anything to deserve this horrendous killing other than be a Muslim. He was targeted simply because of his faith his beard and his clothing represented who he was. Pavlov chose to kill him that night with only that intention in mind. Fortunately, Lapshin's bombing campaign failed to hurt anyone, but detectives are convinced he was improving his techniques and eventually there would have been casualties. As it is, he only devastated one family, that of a devoted 82-year-old grandfather stabbed in the back as he walked home from prayers.